today's video, what I'm gonna be talking about is basically how to build your own uh, security camera. So I'm constantly looking at stuff that's for sale, like new security cameras, and there's a bunch on the market right now, and they kind of all have the same premise. It's a camera, it's got a battery in it, it's got uh, Wi-Fi built into it, and it's got a smart app for your phone. Um, lots of great options out there. Uh, some of them are kind of expensive, so I've kind of got some random things in my toolbox. So I just thought for fun that I would put one together. Um, and just kind of show you how I do it. So today I'm gonna to be using a, um, it's a CCD camera. This is a PC213XS uh, camera you can get from Super Circuit. And I'm also gonna be using a, um, this is a motion sensor relay. So whenever this sees motion, it will power on another device. The reason for the motion sensor relay is so that the camera only comes on and records whenever there is motion present or there's someone in front of the camera. That way it's not constantly draining the power source. And I'm going to be using a wireless transmitter. Um, you can use a DVR and record the video uh, right where it's at, but I'm going to send the video to another monitor and record it from there. So this is my setup. This is a DC power supply. It's an older one, but it works great, so I still really enjoy using it. Uh, this is just a multimeter. lets me know how much power I'm putting out, and I'm going to send power to this. This is a breadboard, and then I'm going to run power down to the middle here. So I'm going to go ahead and turn it on. You see I got right now I've got 11 volts, so I'm going to adjust that to 12 volts because everything that I'm using today uh, uses 12 volts. And going back to the motion sensor relay, on this side you've got voltage in. On this side, you've got voltage out. And again, when this detects motion, it turns any device on or off. And with this particular relay, you can adjust how long it stays on after it detects motion up to 10 minutes. So I'm going to go ahead and provide power to the relay itself. And now the relay has power going out of it. Next, I'm going to do a voltage check just to check the voltage that's now coming out of it. So I'm going to hook up. Uh, red and black alligator clips and then I'm going to clip on a multimeter onto the other end of that. I'm going to turn the DC power supply on and I'm going to make sure that I'm getting 12 volts out of the relay. And you can see I'm getting 12 volts out. Next I'm going to set up the camera and wireless transmitter and this is pretty straightforward. Uh, you're going to connect your video connectors and your power connector. And for this particular transmitter, it's just got a simple little harness that plugs into the transmitter itself, and then easy plugs on the other end of the harness. You can see I've already got a uh, connector here for power. This is power to the transmitter. This is also going to power the camera as well. And that is what I'm going to connect to the relay. But first, let me go ahead and undo the cable for the camera. Power for the camera. And the video signal. I'm not using audio so I don't need this to use this white connector. And For now I'm going to go ahead and use these alligator clips again because I'm essentially just testing this setup right now. And now that everything's connected I'm going to go ahead and turn on the DC power supply again. And it's hard to see but this is actually a 16 channel transmitter and it is on channel 1 right now. And this is the receiver for the video signal. It's pretty simple. You just add the antenna to it and then plug it into either a DVR or your TV. So for this setup, I am just going to go ahead and plug this into my TV. And here you can see I've got the power on. You can see it's on channel 1. And you can see the yellow cable is going to my TV. So next, I'm going to go ahead and turn my TV on. Then I'm going to go back to my garage. And here you can see I'm coming in to the garage. And here I am on the camera, and you can see everything works. At this point, we have tested the relay, the camera, and the transmitter, and we can see that it all works together. 
So now the next part of the equation is the power supply. Um, so if you're building one of these, the power supply is going to be kind of dependent on how you're using it. Um, if you're using this something like a like a doorbell camera, um, you're going to want a, a like a constant power supply. So like for me, on the outside of my house, I have uh, outlets right near my doorbell. So I could use something like a um, uh, an AC to DC converter to supply constant power. Um, if you're using it as a temporary setup, you could do something like um, some type of just, you know, uh, power supply like a, a battery to, to make this work. Um, you're going to have to do the math to figure out how much, how many amps you're going to have from your battery versus um, the draw of the equipment that you're using. For this particular setup, uh, this camera is 100 milliamp draw, the transmitter is 250 milliamp draw, and the relay is something about, it's some, somewhere around a 20 milliamp draw um, when, it's, uh, when, it's not being, when it's not being used. So what you're going to have though is, if you're using this relay, this relay is designed to save your battery power. So um, the equation is going to be kind of hard to come up with because it's going to be dependent on how much um, motion your relay is going to see. So anyways, for this setup, I am going to go ahead and just use these, this DC power supply um, for, just for kind of ease and for constant power. And I'm going to find a case to, to put everything in because that will be the next part of this. I was gonna do this pelican case, but I um, actually didn't want to ruin this pelican case just yet. So I decided to put this in, uh, this setup in this wooden block. And yeah, it's ugly, but this could absolutely work. I could uh, put this up somewhere, I could plug it in, I could send this to my DVR, and I could record anytime um, the camera detected motion. So um, part of the reason I did this though was just to kind of prove that uh, your like if you want to build this and put a camera set up and you want to put it in something you're only limited by your creativity um, this is ugly but you saw that I did it very quickly um, if you wanted to put it in something else you're again you're only limited by what you can come up with to install this um, this setup uh, again if I wanted to instead of having this transmitter on here I could have put a DVR here and just recorded everything right here but Again, just using what I had laying around. Um, if you want to build something like this and you have any questions, just ask me down below and I'll do my best to answer any questions that you might have for this. And uh, yeah, hopefully this video was helpful. As always, thanks for watching.